question. The last thing in the, in the world I ever thought I would do is direct a Star Trek movie because I wasn't really a fan, especially after doing Mission Impossible 3, the idea of doing another sequel to a series of films based on a TV show that Leonard Nimoy starred in <laughs> was not my plan. Um, but I found myself compelled by the story and the characters enough to do it. I'm not very precious about where things uh, you know, where things come from. If they inspire you, they inspire you. Um, but having written original screenplays and, and created original TV series, uh, it was a, an unusual challenge, both in Mission Impossible and Mission Impossible, but especially in Star Trek, to take on a pre-existing storyline. Uh, the answer to the question is, I think that it is certainly a challenge, no matter what. There are different challenges doing an original than there are taking on an existing group of characters. But uh, to me, wherever the idea comes from, if it truly inspires you, then you have to run with it. And the, the disaster is when it's a cynical business choice. And you think, oh, this is going to make money. Because, you know, Star Trek is dead in a lot of countries and a lot of territories. In the United States, it, it, was, it was not in its healthiest form either. It would have been easier not to make this movie. But we were inspired. We loved the characters. We thought the potential was enormous. Um, so it happens to be based on something that pre-exists us. Uh, but I think that what these actors have done have brought something to life in a way that I think is, you know, they did a spectacular job. And I'm just, I feel lucky to have been a part of it.